to come out of this without any kind of trade agreement with its former member, its most important partner. That's going to look like a monumental cock up to everyone else in the world. The UK, when the music stops, is the one that no longer has a chair. We, we are one of the few European countries that actually puts its money where its mouth is on defence. At the end of the process, almost certainly there will be a parliamentary revolt. Um, I just know them. We need to be much more clever about how we use our assets. We are Europe's biggest player in NATO. We are Europe's biggest foreign aid spender. Um, there's lots of things that we could do. Let's not kid ourselves. As we delink on political and economic, we are viewed as delinking on security as well. We shouldn't forget here that most successful companies export. We all have a duty uh, to help our supply chains export more. I think the UK needs to try and get an FTA that is bigger and better than FTAs that have been seen before. Could uh, London move to break away from the rest of the UK? over Brexit. I think most corporates would tell us is, is why waste time trying to segregate, we should be coming at this more collaboratively. We are becoming a world of cities as much as we're a world of states. And in that sense, I suspect Brexit will have furthered that. Is there more chance of England winning the World Cup than securing a friendly <laughs> free trade agreement by 2018? You know, it's a tough choice though. <laughs> 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 um, uh, I don't know which side I'd put my money on.